So one thing I would recommend that you do, everyone, uh, as you prepare to do these problems, is just have a sheet somewhere that you copy and paste these formulas onto that you can easily grab them and, and throw them into Wolfram because uh, I'm going to have to keep coming back up here to this slide to get them just so, because of the clutter on my screen. Uh, but I would recommend that you put those in a place where you can easily just go copy paste and plop them into Wolfram. And that will be true for the rest of chapter six. And so if $3,000 is invested for four years at 9% compounded annually, how much interest is earned? And so I'm going to introduce you to my friend, Sir Matin. And so S, it's way too thick, there we go. R, R, M, T, I, N. And so my friend Sermton is how we're going to collect information for all of these types of problems. And so if you remember from a couple lessons back, I will, I'll talk about these as we go through it. S is going to be the future value. So the future value is something that we don't know. R is the amount of money that was either invested as a lump sum or the monthly payment. So that's going to be $3,000 that was put in once. Uh, R is the rate. So this is 9% and we do, need to, we do need to convert that to a decimal, so 0 0.09. M is the number of compounding periods in a year. And so M is, this is compounded annually, which means one time a year. T is the total number of years. In this case, it's four years. And I is R over M and N is MT. Now, if you want to do this, um, and then just put this number that you get into Wolfram, that's okay. So in my case, this would be 0 0.09 over uh, one, and then MT would be one times four. And so I would get 0 0.09 and I would get four. I could put those in Wolfram, or what I'm going to choose to do instead is just put these, I'm just going to put these in Wolfram. Uh, so I'm not gonna change my formula to, um, to do things. I'm just gonna go ahead and put numbers in. I can either, again, I can either choose to do that or I can choose to do that. Those are equivalent. And you'll see when I get to my formula, um, how I choose to tackle that. And so the formula for compound interest, if I was to go to Wolfram with this, So again, the way that I'm going to handle that, everyone, is I'm going to come up and grab my compound interest formula. And just copy it from here and paste it into Wolfram. And you'll see the formula right there. I can choose to put in this for I and this for N, or I can do the math over here and I can put in either one of these. So my S, I do not know. My R is 3000. My I, I could type in 0 0.09 divided by one, and that will work, or I could put 0 0.09. Either way will be okay, and you'll probably see me do both sort of interchangeably as we go through here. So N is M times T, which would be one times four. And if you choose to do it that way, again, that's totally fine. You just have to make sure again that your input looks how it's supposed to look. And our result would be $4,234.74. So the way that I'm going to uh, sort of record this on my iPad is I will write the compound interest formula. So S equals R times one plus I to the power of N. And that's actually what we're putting in Wolfram when we do this. And so S is equal to 3000 times one plus, for I, I used 0 0.09 over one, and for n, I used one times four. Now again, I could have just put in 0 0.09 and four because I have those values here. And I'll go ahead and do that in the next problem. I just want to make sure that I demonstrate that you can definitely do this both ways. And so what we end up with everyone is S is equal to $4,234.74. So for each of these, it's going to be the expectation that we write a statement of what happened and what we 
understand. So the three thousand dollars grew to a value of four thousand two hundred and thirty four dollars and seventy four cents in four years. Now that's pretty good. These people made some money for doing nothing. And one of the things we need to pay attention to, especially with these questions, we really need to pay attention to the detail of what is asked in the question. And so this question didn't ask what is the um, future value of this fund, which is this amount, $4,234.74. This question asked how much interest was made. And so the amount of interest that was made is whatever grew, whatever this grew to past our original amount. And so our original amount was $3,000. We ended with $4,234.74. So if we subtract the 3,000 from that, we would see that we made $1,234.1234.74. So the investment gained $1,234.74. And again, everyone, this is, uh, these people did nothing. They just put this money in the account. They walked away. They came back in four years and they made $1,234.74 for doing that. So I'll leave this here. Uh, you can look at my work and if you need to pause, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and move on to the next problem.